Had some chicken and sausage pan roast. Some Hakata ramen, pork char siu, some Korean sundubu. Hopefully some English clam chowder. Some Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I'm the Stone Cold Steve Austin of soups, goddammit. Um, hey, welcome. I am doing this. Welcome back, if you're gracious enough to have me back. Um, before I get started, uh, please visit the YouTube page for this video. There's going to be a link in, this, in the description below, as they always say, uh, to a webpage that has a bunch of other links to Black Lives Matter causes, such as places you can donate to, places you can sign petitions for. And, you know, doesn't seem important right now, considering we just had it, but, you know, two years, uh, two years, years, uh, two years can fly by and hit you in the head like nothing. And all of a sudden, it's election 2022. So, register to vote. You know, there's that. Um, it'll mean a lot to me. Well, let's get on with some uh, little mumbo jumbo here. We have three new championships. Welcome to spring. We're in spring. Let's do this. Got my little old tummy Austin 7 here. And it's not that much, but you know. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, let's let's get going. We got Lamborghinis at S nine hundred uh street races. That's gonna be rough. We got retro saloons at B seven hundred and we got GT cars at A eight hundred. Let's get going with the hardest to easiest, shall we? Um Yeah. Here are my difficulty settings. You know, just for the sake of posterity's sakes, I guess. That's that's the phrase, right? Uh, I'm going to try and keep the controller, my Xbox One Elite Series 2 controller, away from the microphone as far as possible. But, yeah, I got paddles on the P1 and P3 positions. Uh, clutch on the A button, P1 to shift up, P3 to shift down. Let's get to it. Ah, oh, spring. The season of new life and new beginnings. Oh, and new championships, of course. I've had a lot of soup this last weekend. Jeez. It's crazy. Uh, I got... I had a cold. Yeah, I know. Hell of a time to have a cold, huh? But it was only for, what, two days? And then, yeah. Okay. That's about it. Only when the house sick, so, you know. Nothing too crazy. This ain't the time. So, going with the... Huracan. Huracan. P. Performante. Uh, you know. Because... Out of all the Lamborghinis, I feel like this one's... One of the least stubborn ones. I have the Forzatani Edition Reventon, and it kind of fights me here and there. And this is a track toy, so, you know, better downforce. I prefer to lean towards the downforce heavy cars. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can't cut a corner. There you go. And it is street scene, so, a bunch of civilian vehicles are on the road, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. Just because you're in the lead doesn't mean that, you know, you can't get screwed over down the line. So, gotta keep an eye out. Oh, slow down there. Also, this vehicle comes with pretty handy uh, rear view mirrors. If you want to, you can make the most out of it, you know, just to play a little defensive and whatnot. Oh boy. 
And this is a 7 speed vehicle too, so... If you kind of have a rhythm going with your vehicles, and most of your vehicles are 6 speed, you know. Keep an eye out for that 7th gear. Oh boy. Oh boy. I did not mean to do this at all. Oh boy. Well, that couldn't have gone any worse. Can I catch up? Can I catch up? No, I cannot. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, it happens. I am playing these to show that you can do it. It's doable. Unbeatable. You don't have to do it on unbeatable. These prizes go... Uh, the top prize goes at highly skilled, so... You know, don't... Don't worry about setting the difficulty down. You know, just to get the prize, it's fine. You're learning. You know, I was learning too. So... It happens. Jeez, I want to talk about the downforce here. It's just... Not happening right now. Wow, it's really weird. I don't know. I don't know what I was I was messing with here. Anyways, yeah, I've had a lot of soups this this last weekend just to get over this this deal, this cold deal. Uh. They're all a lot. They're all delicious soups, but I'm dying to have a a clam chowder where I live at. Unfortunately, the place hasn't been open for a while due to, you know, the pandemic, and I am not, I'm not too mad about that. I'd rather have them, you know, be safe in their homes, hopefully, you know, uh, you get, uh, what's it called? hope their operating fees are waived, you know? Probably not, but still, they should. It's a very nice place. Where did I screw up here? Just, just slow down. Just slow down all the way. It's totally fine. It's okay to hit the brakes. It happens. Could also blame the... Uh, blame my sickness for it, but eh, nah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sink that low. Sorry. Just... Adjusting things here. Alright, what's next? Ugh... These had to be street scenes, huh? Uh. Anyways, I'm recording this on a Thursday. It should be Saturday by the time you're watching this. Saturday, Sunday, doesn't matter. And I can imagine that the Game Awards have passed. I don't know what's going to win. I don't know. Uh, I certainly think Haiti should win a lot of those categories, but who knows. I feel Game Awards is so by committee that uh, they just they just kind of they have a they have pretty safe choices for a game of the year, I guess. You know, some of that won't piss anybody off. It's totally fine, you know. I think that's how. Well, the scuttlebutt is that's how. The movie Parasite won last year. Uh, too many people on that board to vote. Um, one half of the room were Los Angeles natives, and they wanted um, Once Upon a Time on Hollywood to win. The other side was filled with New York natives, so they wanted the Irishmen to win. And so... But both sides 
thought Parasite was pretty good, so they settled on that. I don't know. I could see that happen. Oh, these turns. I love... I love this part of the map. Okay. Don't let the turn fool you. You're, you're not... Don't take it flat out. I'm just gonna end up in the trees like I was supposed to right there. Just you know, keep it relaxed. Bam! Give him wards. I remember a while back they had Master Chief Collection for Best Remake. And it's so weird because if you don't know, Master Chief Remake came in a little too hot. But I guess they have to, you know, include it because it's a, it's Halo. I don't mind Halo at all. I've actually played all of them, most of them, to completion. I still haven't finished Halo 5 because I ran into a nasty bug where one of the Guardians, those are the villains, I guess. If I were to die to a Guardian, it would have booted me out into the Xbox One main menu and granted this is the Xbox One original main menu so it was a while back and yeah I don't know I just haven't touched it because it really soured my mood I guess but, uh, I'm willing to play it especially that Halo Infinite is around the corner well I don't know considering that delay has no date has no new date I don't know when that's coming up, but still, I, I would like to see that story through. It's just one of those games that, you know, I just happen to have played all the games. I don't know how, but here I am. Ooh, no, 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 no. Jeez. Oh, boy. are tight fits but it's doable if you don't know there's been a big update to Forza Horizon 4 it is the Super 7 update Basically, you can do use. It's basically Mario Maker. You could just do user-created missions, kind of like the missions, the story missions in the single player for Forza. Forza. Oh boy, Forza Horizon Four. Um. Oh boy. Pardon my French. Um. Yeah, you could do the single-player mission stuff. Am I just doomed to repeat all these? <laughs> uh, all these twice. Um, but yeah, it's the single player missions and they're custom. I found them to be a little too easy so far what the creators have made. To be a little easy because you can, they're not... They're not shortcut proof. You could build the same track... in the in super seven just be like hey you know beat it in however many minutes you know but if you don't build the barriers you could just you know cut to the left right here and just go straight to the checkpoint go straight to the finish line it doesn't it's really weird like that i you know oh boy ah let's restart it I'm not going to say that I've been a saint and stuck to all the tracks, how they're built by the users, but um, there's some achievements tied to it, like, and some of the yeah, some of the achievements 
are tied to the quantity of different uh, user created levels you have done, I guess. You know, like, there's an achievement to do 77 of them. They're really into the 7 in the Super 7 update. And, yeah, I don't know. Some of the... Some of the user-created stuff have been very, uh, breakable. It's a little mean being able to finish something that's supposed to take, like, 30 minutes in a minute, I guess. Some of it's by intention, I guess, you know? Some of it's like, hey, you know, I love Trackmania 2, so here's something that's kind of like it, but... You know... If you want to fall through the floor and just go straight to the finish line, go nuts. That's fine. I created one. And... I don't know, my anxiety kicked in and... So I started checking out ways that I could break my own creation. So it's like, okay, well... If I could cut through this park on the left right here, you know, I could, you know, and do all that mean stuff, you know. Alright, alright. We got this? Okay, we got this. Cool. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's cool, I guess. There's an... Uh, there, there's an achievement tied to the levels, I guess. It's like, oh, you've done this many, so here, there's a ranking to this. But the payout has been so slow that, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Excuse me a second. gonna take my laptop and remind myself that I'm gonna auction that it's probably gone by the time you watch this video but still yeah the payouts in the payouts and levels in the user created stuff have been so minuscule that it's gonna take a while I'm almost there I'm more than halfway there but that was my Tuesday that was my Wednesday you know so um, there's some achievements. There's an achievement about. Uh, well, hold on. Considering it's spring and we're in the UK, I can't guarantee good weather for this championship. What I can guarantee is that it'll be fun come rain or shine. There was an achievement for. Uh, let's take this Alpha Romeo. An achievement for setting how many. Uh, uh, setting down. Blocks, I guess, you know, you're given parts. Kind of like Mario Maker or Track Mania. And, well, you know, assemble these, you know, to create a track or set barriers up. You know, have crowds in the back, I guess. I guess? Are there any crowd NPCs? I forgot. But, yeah. It's been cool. Oh boy. I'm just. Oh man. True Alpha Romeo fashion. I'm a back marker. But I'll catch up. Don't worry. But yeah. It's been alright. I just wish the achievements were so, weren't so grindy about it though it's uh it's a little much boy and yeah this track is gonna take a while so yeah I didn't really play much this weekend either. Like, I've been... I've been getting into the American Truck Simulator 
business end of the deal, I guess. Where you can... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, where I can, you know, hire drivers, truck drivers. I have to supply them my own truck, which eh, makes sense, you know. Oh, boy. That was bad. But I'm surprised how hands off that mode or that part of the game is. It's very much like hire the driver, give them a truck, and pick what you want them to level up. And set them free, I guess, you know? I guess. If they can find a job, they can find it. If not, you know, well, it's up to them to find the job, too. So, um, so you can't pick a job for them. You can't just say, hey, you know, there's something in your range because every truck driver you hire in the game, they have their own uh, skill tree, just like your, your character. And... The kind of jobs they can get is tied to what they can do from their uh, from the skill tree. So you can't have them travel long distance unless they're all leveled up. Then they could do it, or their travels are probably going to cost a little more if they don't level up their fuel economy, which is really weird. I don't, know, I don't get that. But I mean, it's called American Truck Simulator, but. It's weird that, oh, you know, his level up his fuel economy. Now he, he, she, they only uh, waste this much gas, which is a little, a little unrealistic, but, you know, it can happen. I feel like I'm more mileage responsible now than I was when I was first driving. But either way, um... Yeah, you gotta you gotta decide what they level up, or you could just forget about that and just set it to balanced, and they level up themselves, level up their skill trees by themselves. Which track do I hate the most? Actually, like that track. Uh, actually, like that track too. Actually, I don't like this track. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's fine. Um. Got four hired drivers so far. Pick one up recently. They all come with their own skill points, stats, you know, predetermined stats, I guess. Excuse me. And what's funny is the avatars in the game. They're just, I don't know. I, f I feel like it's probably all the developers and their siblings or family members that they took avatars of because they all look I don't know Under an influence, I would say. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Enough of that. I don't know why I shifted down there. So yeah, I haven't been playing much. I've been wanting to get back to playing American Truck Simulator, but um, I'm a little pre- hmm. I haven't done something like this in a while where, like for example, the last time for me was uh, Mass Effect 3. I love the hell out of that game. 
and that game came chock full of achievements. And whenever that game came out with new deal, new DLC, yeah, I don't, uh, I, uh, you know, notwithstand um, controversies behind the ending, notwithstanding, um, if that game, if that DLC had achievements, I'm going through hell and high water just to get those over with. Not because, you know. Well, yeah, I'm sort of a, sort of because of achievement lust. It's very dumb. Uh, achievements shouldn't matter anymore, but you know they're here. They're in Forza Horizon 4. The Super Seven stuff came with, what was it, nine, seven new achievements, and I just need one more. It's very dumb. Uh, the Super Seven stuff is nothing to write home about, but if it has achievements, then shit. All right. Kind of do them. Kind of the same deal with the elim the Eliminator achievements. The Eliminator in this game is the uh, Battle Royale. I personally do not play any versus multiplayer anymore. I'm just too burnt out from my Call of Duty days. And my Halo days. Because I was... Brutal with uh, friends. And both online and offline friends with that game or I would share my time with, with uh, the multiplayer for those games I don't know uh, I would say I was I was a shot caller I guess I sniped a lot in those games I wasn't a uh, 360 no scope or anything like that I just liked sniping because I had a good sense of the environment and I could tell people like hey you know they're pushing through the market square in the middle of the strike map in Call of Duty 4, let's just say. Or, I don't know, they're pushing through the cave in this bog map. Where am I? Uh, there you go. We got one more of these. Well, and I had my eye on a lot, uh, on, on the environment like that, so a lot of orders given around. And a lot of anxiety comes with that too. I didn't like playing Search and Destroy because I hate, I dreaded being the last one alive. I have a video where I could handle my own. It's very old. Remember when Black Ops on the 360 can? Okay, if if you don't know, now you know. Black Ops on the Xbox 360, I don't know, maybe on the PS3 too as well. I mean, PS3 as well. You can... You could tie your account to YouTube. When was this? 2010? 2009? That's nuts. The idea to tie your YouTube account to... Call of Duty like that and uses YouTube as a service to, you know, upload your clips and, and they were, they are of poor quality because, you know, what could we upload with bandwidth, 2010 bandwidth? You know, aside from 240 and 360p videos that are 30 seconds long where the upload takes you about two hours. You know, gotta make those clips count. Good thing Black Ops came with a with a clip editor. You know, you could set the angle of the camera. You could make your cuts here, cut to this other part. You could save. Oh boy, you could save your whole match, the recording of the whole match, and you know, do your cuts, your 30-second cut. Of your 25, 30 kill streak, whatever, so it's fine. And that's one kill a second. That's cool. But the quality is poor. I have a very old video from around that time where I was last one alive in a search and destroy match with a team that was um, pretty hot headed. I mean, you're not gonna get our mic communications at the time, but uh, it was a 
it was over time. I'm not too proud of the things I would say at the time, you know. Um, you know, we're all given a chance to grow up and do better. And hopefully I can do better. Hopefully I am doing better. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that clip, just prime example of how intense I was, I guess, with Call of Duty. And that's not, that's not an energy I want to revisit again in multiplayer versus multiplayer. This is a long-winded say it was long-winded way of saying that I did not enjoy the Eliminator <laughs> Battle Royale in Forza Horizon 4. It heightened my senses and ugh, no, I'm I'm okay. I'm happy the co-op is there. I hate Oh. Excuse me a minute. Okay. Time to auction that one off too. And um Yeah, I just hate doing the multiplayer versus multiplayer stuff. But the Eliminator had achievements, and there was one achievement that said there's an achievement of um, that requires playing 50 matches of the Eliminator, and I did that. How many wins did I get through that? Nine wins, which is like, hey, you know, that's cool and all, but I geez, just... 50 matches is a lot of anxiety, and... So happy I was done with it. Couldn't stop at nine, though. Hey, what is that car? You ready for a great championship this spring? What am I saying? You wouldn't have signed up if you weren't. Let's take the sleeper. There's the Volvo numbers behind it. I don't know what the numbers are. There's a lot of numbers with these Volvos. But this vehicle is a sleeper, so don't sleep on it. Might look like something out of National Lampoon, but a hey. let's go. You can go faster now. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I had nine wins out of the out of those. 50 matches and I went back and rounded that number off with three more matches to spare. You jerk. Come on. There we go. So yeah, haven't been playing much. Just achievement hunting. Got one more in the... Got one more in the pocket to get over. But that's... Leveling up my Super 7... Playtime, I guess. I don't know. It'll be a minute. Let's get over this first. Yeah, this is the easiest out of the bunch. Yeah, I don't know. GT cars seem to be a little heavy, so they're kind of hard to deal with in race tracks, and yeah. and this one should be easy, especially with this vehicle. I built it with um, sports tires, not a lot of engine power. I cut the weight on the frame, so yeah, a little slow to accelerate, but hey, look, look where we're at. Rear view mirror, nothing. Nope. Nothing. Cool. Alright. Easy peasy. Hey, Formula One minute, though. How about that George Russell, huh? Hey. 
It sucks. I mean, ah, I feel so bad for the guy, but... Hey, you know what? Mexico, Sergio Perez had it coming, so, you know. Good job on him, finally, after 190 races, the longest drought in any Formula One racer's history. He finally got a win. Damn. And some people can be jerks and be like, well, you know, is he bad or something? Like, no, it's, you know, politics, man, you know. He hasn't had the best car the whole time, you know. He, I'm not saying that he took a jalopy, but he, he practically took a company that's turning it, that was turning into a jalopy and yeah, gave it its first win since it was a team named Jordan in the 90s, 2000s, I guess. That's a while. That's 20 plus years, so. Yeah. Good on Sergio. Uh, nickname Checo. I don't know why they call him Checo. But good on Checo Perez. Perez. If he doesn't get a seat next year, at least he can, you know, put that in a resume. resume. Formula One race winner. Yeah, it's one, one race, but damn it, he won one. That's a... That's written books. I was a little worried for George Russell, though, at that point. Because we don't know. He's a rookie. Not a rookie. He, well, this is his second year, but he's a lead driver in a team that hasn't had a lot of fortune lately. So they're kind of in the back. They're always coming in last place. If there is a video that sums up their fortunes, it's uh, Bart Simpson's Bart Simpson's box car not making it to the finish line in the box car race. That's Williams, right? And yeah. Uh, he was given the golden keys to race the top tier vehicle of Lewis Hamilton, seven time world champion Lewis Hamilton's Formula One vehicle after he contracted COVID 19. He's coming back for the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi, which, you know, it's a bummer. People want to see George back in the Mercedes because, honestly, like, well, of course, Lewis is going to win the Abu Dhabi race. It's, well, you know, I want to talk. Who knows? You never know. You never know. But George Russell could have won it. You know. Checo, per Checo Perez would have... Would have not won that race. But George would have won it. Had he not had a tire puncture. Following one of the most... Nightmarishly long pit stops ever in a Formula One race. Uh, I heard that it was technically George's fault too because um, I, I'm I'm paraphrasing this, but there is something about the order going out to bring out his tires got overlapped by George Russell coming in through the radio and just talking to his engineer because apparently the whole garage gets to listen in on that and so while the order was being given out George Russell's audio communication came in and and cut the order out just so he could you know ask a question which is you know what a technical marvel in audio networking fuck ups. Like, man, it was totally not his fault, but damn, that really sucks.
But, you know, no one knew something like that could happen, and wow. You know. Now we know. Now we know what can happen. Alright, we got one more race. Just like Formula One, we got one more race. How about that? Oh, these are long and. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. This was surprisingly very easy. Like I said, the Volvo 850R. There it is. Numbers. Right in the back of the car. Look at that. I can read. Like I said, it's a sleeper. So. It's a soccer mom looking of a car. No offense to the soccer moms out there. Hopefully you're here. Very supportive. And not having your kids play soccer because, you know, you got an axe to grind or something, you know. But you know, if your kid wants to play soccer, well, you know, happy that you made the investment. But yeah, this very unassuming looking vehicle. Look at this. Look at this. We're racing through the same part. Look how much. Just like cutting through butter. Out you go. Out you go. Alright. And these aren't even, like, rally tires. These are the sports tires. I give it the sports tires plus the rally springs. No fuss. It's a surprisingly controllable, controllable vehicle. Pretty easy. So, hopefully, I could get some rest in this weekend. You know what sucked about last weekend? Aside, well, part, part of, oh boy, I hit the map button. Sorry about that. Um, I think what sucked the most about last weekend was I was all ready to, you know, shoot the shit, just have a bunch of stouts and whiskey. Just, you know, just watch some playthroughs of other games, I guess, of like you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla or maybe Yakuza Like a Dragon. And then I got sick. God damn it. And I have so much Theraflu medicine in my system right now that... Um, I feel my liver is going to say, that's it, and, you know, just, you hear an echo of a door shutting as my liver walks away and out of my life. Hey, speaking of Mercedes, cool. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I'm probably not going to be drinking this weekend. Uh, actually, hmm. Ah, I forgot I made a commitment, so, <laughs> yeah. Meeting up with somebody I haven't spoken to in a while, so who knows. All right, cool. Um, hmm. let's, let's go here first. And let's give it a look. Is it Mercedes AMG or Mercedes Benz? Eh, Mercedes Benz. Here we go. Righteous Saloon. Look at that. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. Um, like I said, and like I've asked, please visit the webpage for this video, where this video lives at in YouTube land, and check out the description below for a link to a website that has a bunch of other links for Black Lives Matter causes, such as places you can donate to places you can sign petitions for and you know, register to vote like I said you know, it's going to be a while give it two more years and we're back in it already so yeah give it a go uh, please it'll mean a lot other than that um, uh, yeah please wear a mask Please wear latex gloves if you can. You know, use a lot of hand sanitizer. Go out when you only need to. Please order food for delivery if you can. You know, it might be hard, but you know, try and doing that. Eliminate whatever amount of travel you can to go outside because you know, lockdown is scary. You know, try and stay inside for as long as possible. Keep in contact with you know those you love. You know. To, as well, you know, just to, you know, not to, not let the mind go sour, I guess. And in the meantime, I'll be back next week with another with another video. In the meantime, I'll be having some progresso chunky soup, some menudo, some sopa de pata. Um. Like I said, hopefully some, some of that British clam chowder. Spicy Hakata ramen this time, <laughs> this weekend, I guess. Um, and yeah. And some chicken soup. In the meantime. Well, I already said in the meantime. But anyways, yeah, thank you again for stopping by. Peace.